Well, hello and welcome to uh, Unity 3D C Sharp. This is lesson 22, and this is an introduction to HTML5. HTML5, as you know, is the latest and greatest stuff up on the internet. And <clears throat> in this next series, we'll see how we can tie uh, our Unity 3D games right into all the power of HTML5 on the internet. Uh, this is uh, uh, a little known topic um, on, on the web right now, but uh, we'll discuss it. So what I've got here is I simply <clears throat> have a very simple Unity 3D uh, screen, and uh, I just put a, a sky into it using the sky box just to have something there. <clears throat> and I'm now going to save it so I can play it through a web browser. What I've done ahead of time, though, is I've made a uh, an empty uh, folder, I called it HTML5 example, and this is on my desktop. And what I want to do is I want to use this folder to put my uh, Unity 3D browser in here. And you, you'll see what I mean by this. I'm going to click on here now, and I have not saved this yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here to, to File, um, and uh, all this does, let, let, let's see what this does when I go ahead and play it. Um, it just does that. I see the sky. <clears throat> no big deal. Okay. But that's what I want to be able to see. I'm going to come over here to File now, and I'm going to come here to Build Settings. And when I come here to Build Settings, I get this little pop-up screen here. And I come here and I want to build it as a web player. And if you notice scenes to build, there's nothing to build here. So it comes over here and it says Add Current. So I'm going to put that in there. And it says, do you want to save the changes you made in the scene untitled? And I'll say, yeah, I want to save it. So I put it here. And then it says, OK, what do you want to save this as? And I'll call it uh, My uh, Scene uh, uh, underscore 01, OK, just to give it a, a value. And then I'll save it. So now it's saved as my scene 01. I come down here to, and I click on web player. I come on stream and I'm going to say offline deployment. Even for right now, it won't be offline de deployment. Then I'm going to come here and I'm simply going to hit build. And when I do that, it says, okay, you want it to be in, um, where do you want it to be? Well, where I want it to be, I want it to be uh, go to my desktop in that folder that I called HTML5. And let me see if I can find it now. Uh, HTML5, I think it was HTML5 example. There's the empty folder. So that's where I want this stored at. So I selected the folder, and now it's building it. And here it goes. Build, build, build. <clears throat> it takes a while to, to do it. Okay. All right, and there it is now. HTML5 exists right here. Now notice how it saved the stuff. I have my folder set up so I can see the extensions. HTML. Unity 3D. Min. JS. JS. One of the things we notice right away is that we see the extensions JS and JS. What that stands for is JavaScript. And it may not come to any surprise to us that the language of HTML5 is not C Sharp. It is JavaScript. So as C Sharp people, we should not be denied the power of HTML5. Now, let me just go ahead and click on this guy here and open it up. And, um, and there he is in all his glory. OK, that, that's, that's what I have. But, but I'm seeing this through a browser now. That's, that's the difference, right? That's where I'm seeing my game. It looks sort of dumb. It doesn't do much. Okay. So I'm going to kill this and come here now. Now, in order to make this so that I can make this an HTML5 document, I'm going to come here and I'm going to right click on it. And when I right click, I'm going to open it with Notepad. And I say, open it with Notepad. Yep. And you'll see all of this stuff here, like, oh my goodness, look at all that stuff. Uh, it may not come as any surprise to you that anything in a pure HTML document is nothing but text. That's all it is. And to change this document to an HTML5 
or an XHTML5 document. All I have to do is come up here to the doc type. You see where it says doc type right here? Right there? That's what I'm after. And what I want to do is I want to remove everything right up to here. Just delete that and then put uh, a greater than sign. So it says doc type HTML. And then I want to come here and I want to save it. Now, you won't notice anything change when you go and play this, when you go play this, but now I have now changed the doc type declaration so that it fits the HTML5 specifications and the XHTML5 specifications. Effectively, I've changed this to an XHTML5 uh, uh, and an HTML5 document. So I save that. I'm going to close it. And let's try it again and see what happens. And notice there it is. It comes up, and it's the same old thing. Uh, now, what we might see on this is that, wow, this is, this is really overwhelming. Uh, and I've got this, so what can I do to modify this to make it so that it works for me? Well, that's what we're going to see on our next series of, of uh, videos coming up here, is what we can do to make this work better. Okay, that's it for, for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching.